What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling wonderful today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just the best, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, Uranus, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be fantastic, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. So, Cancer, one, happy Friday. <laughs> but also, Cancer, the moon is going void, of course, today. And with this void, of course, the moon's going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of a short one today, Cancer, because the moon's going to be going void, of course, at about 10.15 in the evening, and that's going to be uh, central time. And then she'll be moving from Aquarius into Pisces at about 11.38 p.m. So we're looking at about an hour, 23-minute void of course time there, Cancer. And with the void of course, you know, when you think about our ruler, Cancer, the moon, she really does do a lot, you know, compared to any of the other luminaries or planets. You know, going through the phases, through the different signs, and that's an indicator to Cancer that we are feeling a lot as well you know not even just our own feelings but everyone's everyone else's that are around us you know it's this is a great energy for just really checking in doing some meditation really seeing how you're feeling you know what's going down really if we can do it all the time can't you know make it like a like a regular thing you know just a daily just kind of how we feeling dope but at least you know just every now and again making sure that the energies that we're working with are ours you know maybe do it making sure that we're doing some cleansing you know whether that be through incense you know maybe taking like you know whatever that looks like cancer but that's mainly what the void of course time is for really just some introspective work meditation and just seeing how you're how you're going through you know how you're doing in these lunar cycles but also with this energy you may notice that your plans are subject to unexpected changes and that also people may be less likely to make a decision during this time so just something to be aware of cancer when we're in this energy and then with the moon primarily being in uh, Aquarius, we'll talk about that again today. The moon in Aquarius, this is this energy, you might be feeling a little more emotionally detached than normal, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna be social cancer because Aquarius energy is very much about the collective and networking. So if you've been wanting to meet with some friends or meet in a group, you know, this is fantastic energy for that. And, and just like, as far as just like bouncing ideas off of each other and things, but even this, you know, kind of piggybacking off of that. Aquarius is very innovative, very genius-like energy. So if you've been even been wanting to maybe plan something with like a business, uh, maybe like a business meeting or anything along those lines, or maybe you wanted to think about like a get like a game plan for just anything, just anything in general, Cancer. Aquarius energy is, is fantastic for that. And also a good thing too, if you've been thinking about wanting to do stuff, you know, with them being it's like a sign of humanitarianism. You know, maybe you wanted to do something with like the community or maybe do something for the neighborhood, however that looks, Cancer. But also, the moon is in a last quarter phase. And with the last quarter phase, this is just about, you know, where this is about acknowledging if there are still any sort of like old and bad habits that we might be kind of like still shrugging off, any sort of like tail end things, Cancer. Because, you know, we've, you know, We've been, I imagine we've been doing pretty great up until now, but every now and again, you might have a little hiccup or two along the journey. It's just kind of tightening up those loose ends, but also too, paying attention to what sort of things, now that we've gotten, 
this one old habit, you know, maybe worked on and replaced it with something new. What else has come up to the surface since we've been working on this thing? You know, this is definitely more, these, these waning phases are definitely more of on the reflective side. So, you know, be thinking about that cancer. This is about cleaning up any sort of emotional and physical clutter, anything along those lines and getting this stuff out to the surface or, you know, up to the surface so, so we can start thinking about the next lunar cycle. So just something to think about cancer. And then last or uh, last couple of things, these readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested there, Cancer. Ha! I love it, Cancer. We are really, this is how you do the Void of Course time here, Cancer. You got the fourth card of Libras, which is the yoga card. Look at you, deep and rich meditation. I'm all with it. This is a card of contemplation, deep breath, centered, go within, steady, balanced, relax, take a break, inner child healing, meditate, time alone, balance chakras, reflection, wellness, and rest. And you know what? Cancer. Granted, the moon is in Aquarius, so if we want to get any socializing done now, this would be fantastic. But considering we're going into Pisces into the weekend and just, you know, we're going to get a little flat, a little taste there. Pisces, Pisces is very dreamy energy and, and all of that. But what a great time for you. You know, maybe maybe take this void of course time since it's so, since it's a little bit of a shorter one, let's extend it into your weekend, especially if you have these next days off or whatever our next time off when we have little pockets. Let's do some deep breathing. Let's find some time to relax, balance our energies. Maybe, I mean, if, you know, if, if we want to do, if we want to go deep cancer, maybe do some inner child healing, you know, I'm all about it. But this, this energy here is, self-care to the max you know what does that look like for you you know what what is zen what is a zen you know your queen of cup zone your zen space look like and this could be something too cancer if we don't have a space like that a place where you can just kind of relax and just sort of be you know whether that's in in your room or if we you know maybe if we're sharing a space maybe going out I don't know, maybe just like just like establishing a zone. Maybe we can find like a private place if we're I don't know, maybe we live in like a near like a park or and I know that can be a little tricky, but yeah, just you know, finding yourself a space where you can just kind of be, where your energies can just find peace and you can go within and anything along those lines, Cancer. I feel like really would just make it just one, it would just enrich your life one. <laughs> But, but two, I feel that even with, with how much, cause you know, since we feel, I feel, you know, the most out of the zodiacs as far as like our emotions and things, you know, getting in the practice of doing some, I really feel like, you know, deep breathing really helps us to stay present to cancer. You know, there's, I'm, 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 I'm getting zenned out just even just thinking about this card. Let's, let's get some. Let's get some tarot on this and then let's let me get some more details because I, I could literally just do the reading off of that. <laughs> let's see what we have here, Cancer. We'll have perfect one of Libra's cards. You got the Two of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Coins, and then we have the Eight of Swords, Cancer. And you know what? This is with with this energy popping up here, Cancer. If we've been, let me start here with this Eight of Swords. If we've been, this is great. This is what this yoga is great for. If we've been like stuck in our heads, if we've been feeling that, who knows how this could apply. Maybe things haven't been, maybe we've been stressed with decisions as of late, or maybe we've been, maybe things have been really busy at work, or maybe there's just like life stuff that's happening. If there's anything, you know, that we've been really kind of up, like caught in our heads about, this is really, you know, taking that time to pause and figure out what's what's going down in our heads right now you know what's let's it's it's getting that that harmony because sometimes when we're when we haven't had a chance to really find balance in things it's it can really throw our energies in in out of out of whack and because this is <clears throat> excuse me the moon excuse me the two of swords this is the moon in libra 
And when you think about just trying to tame, maintain balance in, in all of these cycles, that requires a lot of perseverance, it requires a lot of work. And just with this uh, king of, excuse me, with this knight of coins here, but it's going to be something that is going to be worth it in the long run. If you can make moments for yourself to find these, mo to, to center, to plan this stuff out, to, to, per to be mindful with your energies. Because the King of Wands, this is, um, he's the type, he has a lot of energy to, to give to stuff. But if he, he's the type for me that if he's just kind of going, you know, been expending his energies, whether this be through stress, this be, you know, however this, you know, maybe working through exhaustion, you know, if he hasn't had a proper time to self-care, that's the quickest way to lead to like a hanged man situation, you know, to where we got to, where we're leading to like burnout and, and all of that. So you really want to make sure cancer just when we get if we or if we get in places of just like high stress or anything that just throws you out of whack that we're just carving out little moments for ourselves and really like cancer try to carve make this like a part of your routine you know this is Taurus's card and thinking you know while we're in Taurus season there's a great energy especially if we've been kind of like stressed out or anxious or been kind of just bouncing all over the place slow down and and and, and even just thinking with how this card, you know, um, the fourth card of Libra is, is ruled by Venus and Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus is in our sign right now, Cancer. What a, what a better way, you know, what, what great energy to do this yoga stuff than with Venus being in Cancer. You know, really nurture your energies. All right, Cancer. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what are going to be some challenges when working with this energy. Interesting. Okay, so some challenges, Cancer. You have the Nine of Swords here, and then you have the have the Queen of Coins, and you know just something to be mindful of, Cancer. Just you know, cause we're starting to rack up some swords here. Some challenges is getting getting caught up in your head sometimes, especially you know the Nine of Swords can be like we're caught up in our head in the sense of like we're fixated on something. You know, this can be. This can be whether, you know, we're thinking about, this could be about work stuff, this could be about bills, maybe we're thinking about schedules as far as like, you know, maybe if we have little ones, how we're gonna balance all that stuff. But I feel like, you know, we want to be mindful of that cancer. You know, our thoughts are powerful. And if, we've, if we are operating from a place of stress, anxiety, you know, anything that's disturbing that peace, the Queen of Coins, you know, she's the Queen of Pentacles. Finding some different tools, some resources to help us go within. You know, I talk about that, uh, the, the app that I'm on all the time, Insight Timer. That's a great meditation app or just any sort of meditation app. Cancer, or it doesn't even have to be an app. Just even just carving in time for just some meditation. Maybe you're watching some videos on YouTube or, or maybe we're doing some other things. You know, maybe we're doing some, um, pick, your, pick your resource, Cancer, but let's not get into a place where we're not focusing on our wellness you know let's 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 think about getting back in balance you know and and, and really this can even be cancer this might not even be just with like your like just like head stuff this can also be even just making it a point to move the body as well, because that's something that can help with stress, you know, doing some yoga, you know, maybe walking, exercising, because sometimes too, Cancer, you know, one of the big things I find, we you know, when we get in like eight of swords, nine of swords, that stressful energy, one of the first things that usually is on the chopping block is, well, with for these swords, is like our, it's like working out and things along those lines. And I'm not saying do anything super rigorous, Cancer, but just something that, that can keep the energies moving so that we can so that we can just you know do all the yoga things balance the chakra rest all of that but 
You know, really be thinking about this waist cancer. Don't just feel like that you have to stay, you know, stuck in a in a in in our head space or stuck feeling like if we've been dealing with some sort of like even like in listen cancer, this isn't like health advice or anything, but even if we're dealing with any sort of like physical imbalances, there are different tools we can go about this stuff. Maybe if we're if we're, you know, I want to be careful about talking about doctor things, but you know, if we've consulted with our our um person, you know, your your, your uh, primary care physician, things along those lines, maybe talk about maybe doing some like some, I'm pointing at my tea here, doing some, maybe some other holistic things, you know, if that's something with the body, if we've been stressed, you know, some chamomile tea, I've talked about that, or if we, you can, cancer, we can sit here and spitball all day, but think about this, you know, don't, don't just sit there in detriment or don't think that you, that you can't get out of whatever dis-ease or anything that's, or dis or, you know, disharmony that's going down in, in our, uh, on our journey here. Let's get some more on this. <laughs> Weren't we talking about that cancer? <laughs> I love it because you got the, well, it's not that funny, but you got the hanged man here. It's not as funny when we're in it, but you got the hanged man here. But the nice thing is we got the six of swords. And the nice thing about that is because the hanged man is a card of, especially if we've been running ragged, if we've been running in our head or we've been running the body, you know, too you tired or even if we've been kind of disconnected spiritually, however this is looking, the hanged man asks us to pause for a second, you know, however long this may take and figure out what's going down, what has got your energies all jacked up and what can we do to get back in balance. And then when we find that enlightenment cancer, the six of swords, that's now you graduated. Now we have that understanding. This is a great sword to get because now we can start moving on. We can start working towards healing. We start getting that game plan, you know, getting, getting things, getting things moving. But, and this is something to cancer, just thinking with the knight of coins, whether this is how, however this may apply, be patient with yourself. This may take a few lunar cycles to get to get worked into, but you know, use this stuff to your it, it, to your advantage, Cancer. You know, th and this is something where, for example, you know, I'm I'm I've I've even made like a lunar cycle list, like thinking of some of the things that I'm going to be working on. And the nice thing is when you if we. May, that might be something to do, Cancer, because when you're thinking about this stuff, while you're working on one thing, it's like, okay, next thing on my list is this. And where, you know, I may not be may not be working out right this moment, I can at least start thinking about it so that, you know, when it comes time for that, it gets a little bit easier. So, but any any ways we can make this, this journey, this, this graduation and this level up smooth here, Cancer. All righty. Now let's get some advice from uh, Uranus and, and uh, Saturn. cancer all right last little little pocket here <laughs> where's that page of swords page of swords the temperance oh i love that okay cancer look at i'm with it okay cancer let me tell you what just happened here because you got the you got the ten of cups the strength card the ace of wands that good old page of sword and then the temperance and then let's switch back over here cancer because that's a nice little little powerful little ending here because Really, you know, maybe with this page of swords, you know, maybe some of us we've been, maybe if we've been thinking too much or if we've been, or or if there's something that's been on your mind, Cancer, you know, even just thinking with this, maybe this page of swords could be that, that's been following us around here for this last couple days. Oh, excuse me. Maybe this is something where we've been ignoring a problem. You know, maybe there's something, maybe whatever this is, you know, they've been ignoring this imbalance and maybe it started off as one little bird, but now it's become a whole flock cancer. And, oh, am I, am I lagging? Okay, no, we're doing okay. But it's become a whole mercury retrograde. But 
it's become a whole flat cancer and if it's come down to that place where we can't ignore this thing anymore you know knight of swords then let's take action with this ace of wands and let's start doing some healing you know with both of these look at how this leo look how this strength card is this is, i love this strength card let's take a moment and chill for a second because the strength card this is about our vitality this is about it deals with like our confidence our the physical strength covers a number of things cancer and when that's out of balance it it just it jacks the whole journey up and it just makes it harder to manifest and get you closer to your ten of cups get you to your fulfillment your happiness and whatever that looks like so take this time you know in, in any moments when you're noticing yourself don't be don't feel like it's weird to take a break to pause for a second because when you do cancer that's when you do your best work that's when you're able to manifest your abundance and and again to achieve your Ten of Cups and whatever that looks like for you. So I like that. We got a decision, you know, because it was interesting. This is the last one. One more thing, Cancer. You know, this is the Two of Swords, you know, because this, this was like the kind of like the, the black sheep out of this one. I was trying to figure out there's, there's a stronger place that this is playing or role that this is playing. These things here, Cancer, there's these just like it's a choice to do you really do anything else cancer we got to make a decision too you know when is a good time to rest you know when is when when do we have time for that you know i feel like we all if we always choose to the red door as far as like you know to push through push through push through push through when we're going to take a break just to pause for a second and rest and you know listen to those signals through the body because you know the two of swords can also be about your intuition if we're not listening to those signals you know so all right, Cancer, I think that's, uh, yeah, cause I could talk to you about self-care till the sun goes down. Be lucky the emperors didn't show up. I said, <laughs> then, we, then we might, oh, this has been a whole thing, Cancer. But give that a thumbs up, you know. Let's help get this circulating, get Cancers taking, taking a break and getting us, uh, getting into that Zen Queen of Cups zone there, Cancer. And share this. If you know someone who might be going through something, maybe they're in their head, maybe they've been working too hard, however that's looking, let's get you, let's get them focusing on raising their vibration. And then um, subscribe, hit that bell button, you get notified when I release videos each day. And then um, speaking, we were talking about that meditation app, Cancer. I've been on this meditation app for years, Insight Timer. And it's, I started a group on there called Zodiacs Raising the Vibration. And it's just a group to drop like positive affirmations, encouraging messages. You know, talk about some of the stuff here. Maybe your challenges when trying to, you know, find your Zen space and things, maybe something along those lines and how you overcame that cancer. But... Yeah, just anything along those lines. And then just as the group grows, definitely want to plan some stuff for medications, do so, or medications, meditations, do something for the void of course times. Who knows, Cancer? But all that information for that group and stuff is down in the description box. So come on over and let's, let's, uh, let's, get, uh, let's get Zen. And then uh, lastly, check your sun, your moon, your rising, check your chart, Cancer. And then come on over to my other channel, uh, Alchemist 8. I do vid weekly videos there, cool little themes. It's a good old time. And all that housekeeping, down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards here so I can get you out of here. <laughs> ha! Ha! Not I love it. Queen of Cups, Cancers. A step. And, and who? As I'll tell you what, after, after the Empress... Queen of Cups is very much about self-care because let's, uh, and really Cancer, especially with Venus being in our sign right now, speaking of the Empress, this is really a great time with the Queen of Cups to do some nurturing things for yourself, do some, do some yoga, light some incense, play some soft music. Oh, Cancer, just be in a place. I like that. Take this time. And you know what? Because you got the horsetail card here, which is a card of patience. And this is what ruled by Saturn, huh? Saturn and Venus. And yeah, the, with this card of patience, I almost feel like that for some of you, it's, it's not that you need to be patient with the growth per se. Like, yes, of course, but I feel like more so being... I had something profound here, Cancer, but it's like more so like about being patient. Like, 
Ah, I had something really good here, Cancer. But we're going to go with be patient with the growth, but, or, you know, with this growth, but, oh, you know what? Put yourself in a place where you can practice being patient. That's where I was kind of trying to get with that, Cancer. There we go. But, you know, sitting, because you, like, look at the horses. When you think about horses, they're always running. When's, how often do you see a horse sitting down? But, that I feel like this is, this to me is like, you know, if we, if we're having troubles, just like, just make this thing happen. Cancer, be in a place where you have to slow down, be with your head, figure out what we can reflect on, what, what areas that we can apply some self care so that we can set this thing off for the next lunar cycle. So, all right, cancer, I'm going to get, get you out of here while I'm, you know, while the thoughts are still flowing. Yeah, Cause it's like, man, got a little tongue tied there, but you stay safe out there, Cancer, and, and, and enjoy your time. You know, really meditate with the moon. You know, how, how lovely would that be? Just zen out and just really just, you know, just, just relax, Cancer. Whenever you, if you have this weekend off or whenever your next days are off, and then just make it a routine just in general. And I will catch you on the next one. Hopefully all zen and blissed out Monday.